All right, so Kratom is a plant that keeps people off of opiates, and the FDA is still pitching to, you know, to ban it and fighting for it, even though the World Health Organization, who I believe could not be bought, they refused to say this is unsafe or that it's dangerous. Because the thing is with, with Kratom, you take too much, you just throw it up. That's the worst that happens. You don't fucking die. And honestly, I, I'm, I suspect that that's the problem, that they want people who use opiates and things like that to actually have to go back to fentanyl because you can't even get opiates on the street anymore. Fentanyl spaced out everything. So they want fucking poor people to die. And yeah, primarily it's coming from China and our government, I think, is just fine with that. Let the people who can't buy their products just fucking die. And Kratom is going to, man, I'm getting way ahead here, but if they succeed with any of this and you know any loved one who, like, has to, you know, resort to because they get kicked off Kratom, they have no other recourse, so they have to go looking for opiates, which no longer exist, then they end up doing fentanyl and dying. I say, look into, like, you got to start talking this way now. Sue the fucking FDA for a wrongful death, okay? Because that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be fucking killing people if they fuck with Kratom. So we need to be fucking united in this. People have become far too complacent for far too long with, because, you know, the American Kratom Association, a.k.a., it's, it's fucking great that, that they have been doing all the heavy lifting for us. But we of Kratom users have become very, very complacent. And we've got to stay on our toes. I've been saying this forever, you know, like, fucking, it's, it's not, as long as the FDA is out there pushing for it, like, we are not safe, you know. Thailand legalized it. That was a big move. These are all good. But, no, we had a CBS News nightly, something like that, and now it's in the New York Times, like, a hit job. So, like... This is far from fucking over. And, you know, like, be like, oh, we've heard this before. Yeah, well, it, it's a little bit different when it ends up on the fucking nightly news and specials and then in the new fucking New York Times. You know, anti, with, you know, the fucking world's on fire. You know, we're looking at fucking disaster after disaster and fucking a leaf, botanicals, that's where we draw the line. This is not about our health, okay? You decide what it's about. But the thing is, if you want, if you are, you know, partake in Kratom or you don't even know what it is, you should know what it is. It's great. It's fucking fantastic. I advocate it. I don't want this to get too long, but just don't get complacent. And we got to be ready, man. So fucking get your testimonials ready. Spread this shit around and just don't be quiet about this. You know, take... I fucking hate the New York Times. I really do. Anyway, that that's, that's it. I, I got to go fucking take some Kratom. <laughs>